gonna, this is what it's gonna be. This has happened last year and the year before. Right now is just a big time for buying. You gotta buy stuff. A lot of stuff is cheap and a lot of stuff is selling. So you gotta grab it and send it in as fast as you can, so. Oh look, they raised the price on the bangers too. I'm waiting on those. Are those on long? No, but they're decent on eBay. Cool color too. I just got three size 14s off the wall for this price. They had 40% though. Oh, 40%. That means they had them in the back. I should have asked if they had more. It's a rookie mistake too. I mean, it's not a great shoe. Like, it's not like a iconic, like, that's a thing. the thing is, they're not gonna sell. People are just FBMing them. Maybe that's the play. 28 sold. 120, 150% sell I'm gonna buy some, but I think I'm just gonna FBM them. Yeah, I'm just gonna FBM. I'm just gonna get good sizes and then FBM them. How much are they? 42, right? 42. I'm checking if 11 on there. Yeah, 12 is on there. 12 is already pretty low. Well, yeah, they're all on the same listing. They're just... Just be careful they're not all on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see the method. It seems like they just buy the absolute heaters. It's not put good, it, right? They're no, 50. They put it back down, yeah. Yeah, the sale changed back. It's, it's this is what it's going to be. They're gonna, it's gonna switch up the style now. This has happened last year and the year before. Switch up the style, what do you mean? So before it would be every Thursday, it changes, right? Mm -hmm. So sales are gonna be from Thursday to Sunday and then it's gonna switch again. On Monday? On Monday. You think so? Yeah. It's just gonna be really heightened on the weekend and then back down. Like it'll push back up to like the big like 50 and like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because th this is what they're gonna do. This is I their thought process. I remember that last year. It lasted the sale lasted only like four days. Yeah. And so then we went back. They'll lose on this stuff on the weekend to make up during the week when people are out, and they'll make more some of it back. You know what I mean? Four days. Yeah. Uh, these are at one hundred four on a good listing. What do they come out to? 6, 12, 18. Oh, they're not the one that we saw before, huh? No, it's different. The other one had a green bubble? Mm-hmm. That one was a banger, the green bubble. Yeah, but those were even cheaper, too. Were they? Yeah. So 60, so 6, 12, 18. That's where we bought them at 42, at least once. So they come out to 42? Yeah, let's check out the small size. Dude, this is actually a clean shoe. Look, 8.5. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's just like the other black one. The smaller, the better. I think it's just random, bro. Right? They don't even have 10.5 here. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna get some of these. Yeah, I'm gonna get some of these. They're all black. I'm gonna get 8, 8, 10, 5, 9. I'm gonna get 10, 9, and 11. Come here, though. Oh, there's 9, Jessica. Oh, those are good. Those are good. Cool. Thank you. It's like a Kyler Kyler Murray. I think it must be a skater or something. He's a football player. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Size four is banging. These are cool too. Sale golf shorts over there. Oh, are they 50%? It's at 30%. It's a sale. You said they're, they're what price? 32. They all mess mixed in? Yeah, no, I just wanted to make sure. Yep. Nice. 
six, seven, eight, I think, nine, ten. Yo, hold it up for that. Huh? Hold it up for that. The golf shorts? Oh, those ones. They're 30% off your saying? Yeah. All right, guys, and we are back in the workshop. As you guys saw in this video, it has been just absolutely crazy out there. It's Q4, it's Christmas time, so we're going to any stores we can go to to get inventory right now. I seen that those blue Elite backpack were hitting Ross, and I just, I, I went out store after store. I only recorded two in this video, but we ended up getting like 10 or 15 of those blue backpacks, sent them all in. Those things were going absolutely insane those things were amazing to grab also i believe you saw me grab these these were loading up at our nike stores um some of this stuff i already sent in because you know it's q4 so can't be keeping this around it takes me a little bit sometimes to record these outros but we have some of these because i got some again recently these are great i'm gonna grab these all the time really good sellers those lebrons were also all black anything triple black if it's a good shoe like this is a good popular shoe that nike has if it's cheap enough i'm gonna get it those lebrons went on clearance they were also triple black those triple back lebrons have been doing great they're uh they're selling like hotcakes also the first shoe you saw me grab in the video was a it's a p6000 you guys see that shoe at ross it's at nike I was a little worried about that shoe. It's a brand new listing on Amazon, but had to still grab it. It's Q4. I figure, man, I send it in and hopefully it sells out before Christmas is over. But we'll kind of see what happens with those. Right now is just a big time for buying. It is time to buy. You got to buy stuff. A lot of stuff is cheap and a lot of stuff is selling. So you got to grab it and and send it in as as fast as you can so it's a little difficult to keep stuff around as you can see got more of these things i don't think they're in this video but you'll see them coming up unless i just continue to leave them out because I don't want to be showing you guys the same thing all the time but i got a question in the last video about what is the prompt that's on the top of this box and i wanted to show you guys anytime you guys ask a question in the comments if i can answer it for you in the next video i will do that so be sure to leave any questions comments concerns you have down below and you can see we have the prompt this is what it says this item has been repacked and recyclable frustration free packing because the original box was damaged in transit now if you're wondering why we put that let me see if i can find you an example so this is the prompt that Amazon uses, okay? Amazon, sometimes when we send our stuff into Amazon, the box gets damaged. And I understand. That is, it's understandable. It's understandable that things are going to get damaged. It happens more time than I would like. I'll definitely say that. But understandable that it happens. And when they send us back our returns, and sometimes it's how they send it to the customer as well. So if they're willing to send it to us in this box, then I'm going to be willing to send it to the, them in this box as well. And it seems like they will ship it to the customer straight from these boxes. And it, it's been great. It's been working out good. Also, 
don't be discouraged by the level of competition that's out there. I'm noticing that all, you know, there was resellers that, or Amazon sellers, or all these types of people that buy and sell. I've been, I've been noticing a lot more of them out there. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. If more people are buying, these companies are going to be shipping more stuff out. There's going to be more stuff going on clearance. The stuff is not going to go away. If there's people to buy, there's going to be people to sell to. So don't worry about that, especially during the holiday season. Some of these people just come around around this time or they go out during the weekends all throughout the year. And then holiday season, you see them a lot more. It's not a big deal. It's going to be great. Don't be discouraged. Any competition healthy competition. As you can see, I mean, I, there's another reseller that does my exact same route. You guys see him in the videos. Uh, he, he does the exact same route as me. And instead of being, going to the stores and, and me and him arguing about who's going to take what, we just say, Hey, is this a good buy? We just, we hash it out. We work together. We look at the sales. We look at the data. We look at everything together so that, you know, I mean, there's other resellers that go there too, that aren't cool like that. They're trying to race us to things and they're not going to beat us. We, we do what we do. We do this every single day we're not going to be denied. And, you know, we build relationships with, with the workers. We don't pay them. We don't do any, anything special like that, but we go every single day. So naturally we build that friendly, healthy, nice relationship with the employees there and, and do that with the other resellers. Don't think that Amazon sellers have to be against you. I mean, you don't have to share dollars, right? But you guys can share ideas and move forward. But uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, leave a comment down below with any questions you guys might have that I can answer for you. Thanks for watching. Peace.